Letters, Ray to Cheryl, July 19th, 1944, from Florida, Ray writes, Look, woman, lay off the cracks about my growing up. Pretty soon I may be in a position to let you know how grown up I am. I've got bigger worries than not getting a furlough. Did you ever wonder why I haven't been sent overseas or why I've been transferred 11 times? I've got a job to do and no matter how it goes, I can't say anything to anyone. I've got to blow off steam some way, somewhere. I'm not blaming anyone for anything. Aside from my job, I've also got to be an aviation cadet, which is no cinch. Sometimes I damn near knock my brains out trying to accomplish everything. It take, take it easy on the cracks or I'll write my troubles to Mary Jane. Then what'll you do? No kidding, honey, I'm not mixed up in any kid stuff. I've got a right to sound off once in a while, and you should be the one to listen. Or should you? Let's not be making a, a habit of the L and L Club. The place has a reputation, but bad. You get mixed up in the screwiest setups. Nine naked women, yipe! You'll have to take me there someday. I'm getting to be quite the kid with a couple of twin fifties. Eight hundred slugs a minute, and one of them would tear you to pieces. Do showers come before or after the baby? I've got to read up on such stuff. If you like the locket, swell. I had something else planned and it went wrong. Pick up an almanac and find out when winter comes to Florida. Aside from the heat, the place isn't so bad. It's hard to believe I'm still in the United States. We'll have to come down here someday. You'd like it. The jolly old school bell is ringing, so I must skip merrily on my way. Bye, darling. Love and kisses, Ray.